Janet, how significant was it to be in D.C. praying for our nation to repent for the 60? Now, I just heard a new stat you just said, 62 million lives that have been aborted. We always say 60 million. It's 62 million. Every life matters. 62 million. How important was it and is it to repent? I think it was absolutely vital that we were there. Uh, and, and again, we've all been to these rallies. We've all, we've all prayed Second Chronicles 714, but this time, unlike any other time in our history, this time, one of the things I said in the prayer you weren't able to show in the clip was the listing of the states that have passed uh, 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 the, the, the heartbeat bills. I will list it. Arkansas, North Dakota, Iowa, Mississippi, Kentucky, Georgia, Missouri, Louisiana, Tennessee, and Ohio. These are 10 states plus Alabama that protects from, from conception. We're making the case to God, much like Abraham did, to say, look, there's 10 righteous. Give us mercy. Give us more time. Spare us your judgment that we deserve because we are we are working to turn from our wicked ways. There is a remnant that is doing something. And that, I believe, is something that God is, I believe he heard it. I believe he's, he, he's going to give us another chance. But right now, it's up to us. We talk about one of the things I wrote about in my book was, was voter fraud. Uh, we have got to be vigilant. And I pray, I'm asking people to, to God to awaken the intercessors, to awaken the watchmen, and to send out his heavenly host to stand guard at the polling places, at the, at the post office, which, by the way, the Postal Union just endorsed, endorsed Joe Biden. See how, how fair they're going to be with the mail, especially that comes in uh, from military and those that are areas that are going to be pro-Trump. They end up in dumpsters. That's what we're finding. And so when we're looking at, 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 at let's just look at, at not only the mail-in invitation to voter fraud, You've got 16 states that have voter machines that are directly tied to George Soros. Then they brought in some group from Princeton. They said, hey, can you transfer votes from one candidate to the other and hack these machines? Let's watch and see if you can do it. They did it in seven minutes. We're talking about a very, very big threat. Voter fraud, that is a number one prayer point. Uh, that and, and people coming out and actually voting. Uh, if you can do it, vote it in person as, and vote early in person. Uh, if, if you have to vote by the mail, by absentee ballot, but make sure that you pray over your ballot before you send it in. Because what's happening is another thing I wrote about in the Heartbeat Away book, and that is that the, the new public square, that our freedoms are being choked out right now. Someone says, well, how can I find the truth? Well, here's a hint. If Facebook blocks it, if YouTube bans it, if Twitter deletes it, then, well, you've got a pretty good indication that what, you're, what they're doing is they're choking out the truth. They are an, an arm of the Democratic Party, and we need to, we need to stand up, because there's something else on the line. Not only our freedom of speech, our freedom of religion, um, but we're, we're talking uh, about uh, uh, whether or not we will have a public square where we're not going to be choked out from the gospel. I mean, we're, we're literally looking right now is in a future, whether it's going to go the way of, 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 of freedom and the American dream, or whether we're going to go to darkness, to socialism, to censorship like that of China and North Korea. Uh, we're looking right now at a place where there's a place of choosing, whether you want law and order and safety, or whether you want to, to live in a city like those that have been run by Democrats that are looting and, 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 and burning. I mean, you know, Kamala Harris, by the way, she, which side is she on? She actually gave money to help bail out some of these arsonists, some of these violent criminals. She wants to bail out the criminals uh, where Trump says, no, we're, we stand for the police. I thought it was very, very telling during one of the debates where, where the president asked uh, Joe Biden, name one police force, name one police uh, 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 agency that is for you. And Joe Biden couldn't come up with any. Uh, if you Safety affects everyone. And it's, it's a situation where... Um, all lives matter. Uh, but, but he's actually doing more also for the African-American community as he's standing up for criminal justice, as he's, he's pushing school choice, as he's working to, uh, to, to stop the racial targeting by, of, by Planned Parenthood, the abortionist. Um, we're looking at a choice that's never been more clear across the board on every single issue. And so this is my, I implore you, this is my, this is my if you get nothing else from what I said, Choose life at the voting booth. Tell your family, tell your friends, and fast and pray. This is, this is the moment where, you know what? We need some high-octane prayer. 
give up meat, give up dessert, give up entertainment, do whatever you need, give up food, whatever it takes, we need to get over this finish line so that we'll have another chance at America, for a chance at mercy again, where we can actually finish the good work that he began. And I can read off not 10 states that pass heartbeat laws, but we can read off 29, 50, uh, 49, 50 states that, that can restore legal protection. It begins with having the right president making the right Supreme Court appointments, making the right decisions as he signs the, the law and, 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 and breaks up the, uh, the internet monopoly that is ch putting a chokehold on free speech. This is where, it, by the way, what happens, let me ask you something, what happens when you not only defund the police, all right, and you take away people's guns? <laughs> Guess what? You're at the mercy of the mob. And that's where the Biden-Harris ticket would take you. When, when Joe Biden was asked by Anderson Cooper on CNN, well, the other side says you're, take, you're coming after their guns. His answer was bingo, if they're assault weapons. So here's what they do. If they want to take away your handgun, your right to, 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 to own and bear, to, to keep and bear arms, what they'll do is they'll just put the word assault in front of the weapon. As soon as they take care of your, your bigger guns, then they're going to go after the handguns because the handguns, they'll say, kill more people. So they'll, they'll call them assault handguns. Then that right is taken away. By the way, you look at the FBI, uh, knives, table knives, kill four times more people than guns. So they're going to call that, I don't know, assault silverware, and they'll take that away. I mean, you'll be at the mercy of the mob under a Biden and, and Harris administration. And if you care for law and order, if you care for life, if you care for liberty, this is the time to come out and vote like never before.